Hey, welcome back everybody. On this Pet Talk Tuesday, we're happy to have along a Dr. Lucas Candifer, local veterinarian with info on your pet's eyes and ears. Hi, Lucas Candifer here with another Pet Talk Tuesday segment. Uh, today we're going to be talking about eye and ear care for our dogs and our cats. Uh, really common when we talk about our dogs and cats, ear infections are, are one of the most common issues that we'll deal with. Most of the time they're actually uh, caused by allergies. So uh, just because your dog gets his ears wet or uh, goes swimming, you give him a bath, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get an ear infection. Um, but it does change the environment. We will find that you may see ear infections more often if your dog is a swimmer. Uh, and our cats, the same thing. And we do see ear mites here and there with them. But a lot of the times when they come in, indoor only cats are just looking at allergies and, and that's something we have to try and control. Unfortunately, if you have an allergy, you have it for life, you know, you're gonna have to manage that throughout the life, the life of your pet and your veterinarian can help you find a lot of different answers to make it easier and make sure your pet's not going through these on a regular basis. Really important thing to help work with your pets is make sure they're comfortable with you working with their ears. Um, just making sure that you flip that ear back, you can see down inside the ear hole. Uh, and that's where we're gonna do most of our treatments. Often people will try and use a Q-tip or a cotton bud, uh, peroxide, things like that to help control or, or clear their ear infections. All of those things, the, the cotton bud is fine, but the uh, Q-tip, try and use peroxide. If you've ever had a wound, you know pouring peroxide over that really burns. When your dog's ears are inflamed, that's really torture for them, so we don't want to do that. There's a lot of over-the-counter ear cleaners. Your veterinarian has ear cleaners that can help uh, keep those ears clean. And that's really part of our maintenance is to make sure that we're flushing those ears and changing the environment. If we are seeing infections on a regular basis, talk to your veterinarian. They'll help you find the right medication and get that set for you. The other thing we do see is we'll end up with some uh, with eye boogers with our dogs and our cats. Uh, so trying to clean those out, you want to use a little warm bit of uh, gauze. You can just wet that a little bit and just, you know, take from the corner and help clear those out with that cotton uh, or with a, with a gauze. Our cats often will have the same thing. And a lot of our dogs, especially the small, uh, short, squishy nose dogs, uh, they'll end up getting infections around the eye because that's constantly draining that area. So just making sure that we do use um, maintenance on that, keeping that clean, keeping that dry, can really help prevent those infections that, that cause these dogs you know, chronic irritation and, and uh, issues. Our cats will often see end up with, uh, with eye discharge and frequently upper respiratory infections, even if they're only indoor cats, not exposed to other pets, we will see that Herpes type viruses will cause some eye discharge drainage. Clear drainage from the eyes usually is gonna be a, a mostly like a cold for you and I. So it's just a little maintenance, trying to keep them nice and comfortable. If you see pus or mucus from your dog's or cat's eyes, that's usually when we wanna make sure your veterinarian gets, in, uh, uh, gets involved and can help you out. Uh, overall, you know, just some chronic maintenance on those eyes and those ears, keeping them clean without really you know, putting uh, Putting a lot of things in there can help keep uh, those infections and those irritations at bay. I've been Lucas Candifer with Pet Talk Tuesday. Have a great day. Pet Talk Tuesday on AM Buffalo. Thanks so much, Dr. Lucas. Stevie approves. She doesn't really love the eye boogers, but she has giant ears. So, you know, you, you out of here. So she hears very well. So <laughs> when I talk, I talk too loud for her. Fancy that.